Okay, guys, part two. Yet you only conceive violence in your heart against your brother and murderous thoughts against your own. Behold, only hate fills your heart and abhorrence runs through your veins like poison. A wild man without conscience. Thus your iniquity has not ceased and your transgression is increased beyond measure. Now this is talking about Ishmael, the Ishmaelites, by the way. Just to let you guys know, if you didn't see part one, continuing. For it is written, your hand shall be against every man, and every man's hands against you. For you are full of pride, and your ego swells like water upon the floodplains of Egypt. Thus the pride of your heart has greatly deceived you. Therefore, I shall leave you desolate in the day of recompense. And in the day my witnesses stand up, Upon you there shall be no rain, neither the former nor the latter, for I am against you, says the God of Jacob. I have set my eyes upon you for harm and not for good, for I shall surely return your reprisal upon your own head. And as you have done, so it shall be done to you. Shall I not cause the land to tremble before me? And sift you from the, the holy lands, dividing you asunder, allotting you your portion among those appointed to wrath. For I shall surely slay all your mighty men of battle. Behold, even I shall bring your generation to a sudden end, leaving not one male among you above twenty years of age. For I shall surely turn your land into mourning and leave all your women childless. Yet among the heavy laden, those who are severely oppressed because of you, I shall have mercy. For from among them I shall bring forth a remnant. For I have seen the hearts of the battered, and I know the minds of the oppressed. I have looked upon those with no hope, of whom you held captive from birth. I know who longs for me. Behold, even I shall come forth from my place and deliver them, even every captive. For the tears of my people are great because of you, and the women among you weep because you are brutish, O sons of Ishmael. Thus I shall deliver them from your hand, and you shall be sent away, for you have not known me, says the Lord. O oh, despicable peoples, repent, and turn back from this wicked way you have chosen. <clears throat> Yet you will not return, nor will you forsake all these abominations. For you do continually plot evil against your brother, and your hands do not cease from shedding innocent blood. Your works are a foul stench in my nostrils, a detestable lump under the skin, a putrefying sore that refuses to be healed. You are all dead in my eyes. Shall I not repay you for all these things, even double, says the Lord God? Shall I not come down and tear you to pieces for what you have done, says the, the God of Israel? Shall I not destroy your lands and persecute your people with the sound of my voice day and night? Shall I not move swiftly and grind them to powder beneath the feet of the Holy One of Israel? Shall I not come down and consume and destroy? Thus it shall come to pass in that day. You shall fall, never to rise again. And it shall be as though you had never been, declares Yahuwah, the only Lord of hosts. And no more shall there be any gods before me. No more shall anything made by the hands of men stand proudly before my face. Amen. Thus says the Lord of God, 
of Israel. My people are slain in every corner. Behold, they murder my messengers and tear my little ones to pieces without remorse. Beloved, what would you have me do? What more could I have done? I poured out my life for them, yet they refused to drink. My body was broken for them, yet they refused to eat. For I tell you the truth, they have utterly forsaken me. Me, the fountain of living waters. And for what, beloved? For what? Look at what they do. Look how they greedily lust after every contemptible word and deed, filling their bellies with all this disgusting food, performing every abomination which I commanded they shall not do. They are a vile people, a most deceitful and wicked generation, the likes of which has never been seen. Yet I love them still. Even so, I must not withhold my punishment, and my judgment must be satisfied. Evil must be utterly destroyed. It must be consumed before my face. For if I do not do that which I have purposed in my heart to do, and if that which is stored up in the storehouses of my wrath is not poured out, mankind would surely destroy themselves by their own hand leaving the garden uninhabitable. Therefore I am come with, with a great trumpet blast to awaken the nations, to shake this world to its core. Behold, the Holy One shall shout with a loud command, and the light of this world shall be taken. The whole earth shall be shaken, a mighty earthquake, the wrath of the Lamb revealed. Now hear the word of the Lord, those who say they are my people, who are not my people. Thus says the Lord. Behold, my name is forsaken among the generation of my wrath, for my children have forgotten me days without end. Even my own people, who say falsely that they are my people, do lie, for they are not my people. For my ways have become an abhorrence to them, nor will they obey my commandments, and to my voice they refuse to listen. They are a people of deceits, a people of two faces, who run after every unclean thing. For they say, As the Lord lives, we are delivered to do all these things. Yet I shall surely deliver them to wrath. And as I live, says the Lord, they shall not escape the day of my anger. For they are polluted, or excuse me, they have polluted my name and desecrated the glory of the Holy One of Israel in the eyes of the people, taking that which is right and good and profaning it as they continue to put me, in, put me to an open shame, to the confusion of many faces. Therefore I am against them. Behold, I have set my face against them, even against all who blaspheme my name and corrupt my word for their own gain. For they have profaned my holy things, and by their doings have they brought shame upon themselves. Thus I shall not continue, excuse me, thus I shall continue to rebuke them, for I am against their every word and deed, and when I discipline them, I shall not spare. Behold, I am against you, O churches of men, for my ways have become an abhorrence to you. Yes, you proclaim it by all your filthy traditions, of which I hate, and by every corrupt doctrine you uphold, do you set your faces against me. Behold, by all you say and do is your rebellion put on open display. Your uncleanness is clearly seen. Thus your ways have become an abhorrence to me, says the Lord. Therefore, I shall surely correct you and bring upon you swift discipline, even recompense for all your evil deeds in where you have caused my name to be blasphemed among the nations. 
for with a strong hand and a firm rebuke shall I turn back, shall I turn you back from your ways and recover you from your transgressions. Behold, with many strong words and a stretched out hand shall I abase you as a mighty wind breaks off the branches and a swirling wind topples the tall trees. So shall the sound of my voice break you, and the strength of my hand humble you in the day of the Lord. With a great thrashing, this way and that, shall you be broken in pieces. Behold, the world shall be turned upside down in my fury, and the nations shall fall on their side under the weight of my punishment." Says the Lord, for I have surely declared it, and I also shall bring it to pass, even before the eyes of this arrogant and most wicked generation, for I am the Lord. For many have played the harlot, many have set themselves up as an authority among men, even to speak as though they were God, proclaiming the will of the Lord with many lofty and vain speeches, yea, with a great multitude of words they speak as though I had sent them. Yes, they speak in my name, though not one of them has heard my voice, nor did I send them. Therefore, I have numbered their speeches and remembered their every idle word, which I have accounted against them. Yet my people are not all ashamed of their offenses, or excuse me, it says, yet my people are not at all ashamed of their offense, nor will they give heed to my words, which I have spoken to this generation, nor are they willing to turn from their sinful ways. For my people do continually transgress and do always rebel against me. Thus they are not my people, says the Lord. Behold, in one accord they persecute my prophets and slander my messengers. Lo, they fight against me in their own name, saying, We shall be justified in our actions when the Lord comes to punish these messengers and repay these false prophets, for we hate the sound of their voices, and their words torment us without cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am indeed come out to punish. I am indeed come down to repay. Each one according to their words, which they have spoken against me and my messengers. Each one according to their deeds, which they have committed against me and my prophets. For they provoked me with their words, and by their deeds have they brought my anger to the full. They have forsaken the fountain of living waters, and want no more to drink, neither will they swallow. They cast down righteousness to the earth, and turn justice to wormwood. For they hate the one who brings the Lord's rebuke to the gate, and abhor the one who speaks a true message from God. Lo, they tread upon those who walk uprightly, and shun those who obey the Lord's commands. Behold, they stone their own brothers, and injure their own sisters with their words. Therefore, they shall come to know me in my bitterness, for I hate all their lavish houses, I detest all their sacred assemblies, nor do I savor their feasts. Their traditions are an abhorrence to me, and their holidays I despise in my zeal. Thus, when I stretch out my hand against them, and lift up my voice against their congregations, they shall fall. Even they shall be the first among those who fall, says the Lord. Tell me then, by what means shall they rise again? For there shall be no place that is not made desolate, no place which is not consumed by plague and famine. There shall be no open place for destruction and calamity shall overtake the whole land, says the Lord, to be continued, my brothers and sisters. Amen, Jesus.